The north coast of Queensland seemed to be an ideal place for recreation and swimming. However, at the end of the 19th century, scientists realized that something was wrong with this place. Too many people were dying in the ocean while swimming, for no apparent reason. And most often, this fate struck children. A person would be swimming peacefully, everything fine, when suddenly something happened and they died. You are on the Wild World Channel, and today you will learn about sea wasps, the deadliest inhabitants of the seabed. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel, and we're already starting. What was happening on this coast remained a mystery for a long time. Doctors could only throw up their hands in disbelief. All the deceased had suddenly suffered heart failure. The local swimmers reported the following symptoms. When a person was swimming, all of a sudden, they began to feel an intolerable pain. It could not even be compared to anything else. The only thing you could compare it to was a red-hot piece of iron touching your skin. People's breathing would become labored, and their heart rate would increase to unimaginable levels. Only a very strong adult could endure this pain. And even if the person didn't die, he or she would be haunted for several more days by various excruciating symptoms, namely severe pain, nausea, and vomiting. And no one could understand what it was all about. Poisonous creatures are known to frequent the tropical ocean, but there were no signs of such creatures here. It was as if the pain appeared out of nowhere, suddenly, and for no reason. The water around the people who were experiencing this terrible pain was completely clean. Many began to suspect an invisible killer was stalking the swimmers. Researchers studied all the animals in the area. No deadly poison was found. Some swimmers also had red marks on their bodies like jellyfish bites, but there were no jellyfish around. In January 1955, tragedy struck again on a beach in Queensland. This time, the victim of the invisible killer was a five-year-old boy. The child was just playing in the water near the shore, and suddenly, without warning, he went under the water, not even making a sound. The area where the child died was cordoned off with nets, with researchers deciding to thoroughly search the area for any marine life. And the situation finally became clear. In their catch, the scientists found something they had never seen before. It was a jellyfish, a sea wasp, or as it is called, Chironex, the hand of death. The body of this animal has a cubic shape, and from each lower corner of the cube grows a bundle of tentacles. The jellyfish we found was large, but completely transparent. In the aquarium, it was only possible to see it under an ultraviolet lamp. It was impossible to see such an animal while swimming. The tentacles of the Chironex contain the most deadly poison on the planet. Even an accidental touch will cause severe pain. Your lungs will be paralyzed and your heart will probably stop. Only the strongest people have some chance of survival. A child dies instantly. When studying jellyfish, it also turned out that their tentacles do not sting everything they touch. They contain so-called analyzer cells that tell the animal what it is in contact with. A live object is immediately subjected to a poisonous attack. If the jellyfish is not interested in the object, nothing happens. Something had to be done about it all. And for this, they needed something unusual, tights. The nylon fabric of tights is perceived by the Chironex's tentacles as something inanimate and therefore not interesting. So swimmers began to pull tights, not just on their legs, but also on their arms and even on their heads. What other choice did they have? Every year, more than 100 people die from sea wasp bites. By the way, Chironex are found only in the Pacific Ocean. Some firms in Australia even began to make special suits, similar to tights, but covering the whole body, including the head. Such a suit is not cheap, so in this battle, a more unpretentious method has won. It's commonly known that boys don't like to wear pantyhose under their pants in cold weather. It seems ridiculous and even shameful to them. But where Chironex are found, both boys and men wear pantyhose, not only on their legs, but all over their bodies. Perhaps to protect themselves from mortal danger, people are willing to do what's necessary. If you like this video, do not be lazy to like it. If you think I missed something, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. See you soon.